Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create, and today I'm here to share with you my newest project, which is a folio that measures six and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths, basically seven by nine folio, using a combination of two of my favorite Stamperia older collections, the Wonderland collection. We're gonna be using a 12 by 12 pack one pack of the Wonderland collection and the Sleeping Beauty collection, an eight by eight, one pack of the Sleeping Beauty. And together, those two collections work beautifully together. And that's all you need to form this little folio. So we start off with the front cover and it has the shaker element made from one of the Wonderland cut aparts. I love this little fairy. And so we go through how to make this little shaker card. This whole cover is made from the Wonderland collection. The shaker card is backed on simple cardstock. This is um, craft cardstock that I just painted with this paint that I got at Michael's or Joann's. It's just Deco Art Glorious Gold Metallic Paint. Real easy to do, you just brush it on and now you have a, a metallic um, paper. So I backed the shaker card on that metallic paper back there, added this element, the dream and the butterfly from the Stamperia collection and this imagination also backed on some metallic and craft cardstock from the Wonderland collection. I added some of this starch seam binding that I got from a craft store here in San Diego. Look at the color. It's kind of like a deep teal type color. I just love that color. And I thought it added a lot of dimension here, a lot of texture to this little folio. I will give you the link of where I got this. It's made in Poland. So oldfashionedribbon.com. This is the, the spine. It's one and one quarter inches. And here you see the seam binding again. This is from Wonderland collection. This is from the Sleeping Beauty collection. This back here, the back is, this is Sleeping Beauty. This is Sleeping Beauty, Sleeping Beauty, obviously. And then these little corner bits, Julie will send those to you if you order the collection from us. And just want to show you a little close up of this because I know it's hard to see with the acetate. The, the, the glare is kind of hard to see everything, but it's, it's just so pretty. So let's look inside. So it opens up with a gold ribbon. So when you open it up, you have a left panel and a right panel. So we are going to start with this left panel. So this left panel, this is both, this is mainly Wonderland collection. These two sheets, this card is from the Wonderland collection. This little fairy is from Sleeping Beauty, and I put some Wika Stella on her wings there. This is a cut apart from Wonderland. Put some Wika Stella on that butterfly. And this gatefold that has a little pull tab right here. So we open it up and we come to this spread. Now this spread, this paper is all from Sleeping Beauty. Everything here, Sleeping Beauty, this little half, this little circle element is from Sleeping Beauty. These are from the Wonderland collection. And this little bit right here that's on the back side of this card, this is from the Wonderland collection. You will see this same pattern in the Wonderland collection, only it's going to be 12 by 12 size. So th this is our first opening here. And then we have another ribbon pole here. So we open this up and we come to these two pages. This is all Wonderland collection. 
these two pockets. They're pull-down pockets held by a magnet. These are covered with Sleeping Beauty paper, the fairy book, and Dreams Come True. Those are both from Sleeping Beauty. They have little tag inserts. These tag inserts are from the Wonderland collection. These pull down the bottom of the pockets. That's from Sleeping Beauty. This big pocket, this paper, is all from the Wonderland collection. Made a little pocket here and put some inserts from the Wonderland collection. This beautiful unicorn, another beautiful paper from the Wonderland collection. Those will go in here. This little half circle tells us to open it up. And we, oops, let me close these first. And then we come to this spread. Now this, this panel and this panel of the unicorn, they were from the same 12 by 12 paper. I just cut them and then added this green panel from the Wonderland collection in between them. Added some Winkastella to the unicorn's wings also. Just think this is gorgeous. And then I cut this image out from Sleeping Beauty, made it into a photo mat. Cut this out from Sleeping Beauty and made it into like a bookmark. She lay beautiful as an angel. So that Sleeping Beauty backed it on some ivory cardstock for journaling. And then those are just going to sit in here like this. This closes up and then we have another pull tab. So we open this up and we come to this image, this flap that has our fairy again. Here we see Dreaming, that's from Sleeping Beauty Collection. Some more Winka Stella on her wings. I just love this image. And then this is the back of the left panel. Here I made a boxed envelope. It's got a quarter inch gusset all the way around. Closes with a magnetic closure. And then it's, my idea was to use this to store all the photos that I want to um, use for this album. What I did not like about this was it's a box envelope, so this does not give very much. So what I ended up doing for the tutorial, this is my prototype. I made the same size, this is the same size as this one. I used the box envelope um, details here, so this is squared off, this is squared off, but I added an accordion on both sides. So this is going to be fitting in this space here like this. So I will go over that in the tutorial. So this is the left panel. Now let's go to the right panel. Now this right panel, this paper and this paper, they were cut from the same 12 by 12 sheet from Wonderland. I have a little cut apart from Wonderland here. Here's a half circle again. So we lift this up and we come to these two swing pockets. Now, once again, they are backed on that gold painted craft cardstock just to give it that gold shimmer, which I think is beautiful. And have some Winka Stella on the angel's wings, and that um, dragonfly has some Winka Stella. So these two are held closed by button tie closures. Have a charm here that Julie will be sending you, some a butterfly here and a unicorn, oops, a unicorn is down here. So we open these up. We have our swing envelope. Inside is a photo mat. This is from, these are all from the Wonderland collection. Put that back in, open this one up. Another photo mat from the Wonderland collection. Beautiful paper. So these flip up. This is all Wonderland collection back here. 
And then we come to this green paper again. I love this green paper. This is another flap, so more uh, photo opportunities here. Open this up. And then here's this little half circle. So we're gonna open this up and now we come to this spread. This paper from the Wonderland collection is the exact same pattern that you saw in the Sleeping Beauty collection that I showed you on the left panel. In the center here, we have this beautiful Wonderland paper here with a pocket down here. And I just put some um, cut aparts from the Wonderland collection, the dragonfly, a bookmark, and I think it's this back part is actually from Sleeping Beauty, and then another tag that goes in here. So this closes, and then we close this back up with our button tie closures. And then lastly, we have this beautiful paper with some more photo opportunities back here. So then this closes over and this whole thing closes over and that's our little album. I love the feel of this album. It's the right size for holding. It's got plenty of photo spaces and I think it's just, I think it's just beautiful. This paper is just so beautiful. So, let me know what you think. You can get both of these um, Stamperia collections in our shop at Scrap and, uh, Scrap and Create. I will put a link in the description box below for all the materials that I used here, including these, these beads that I got from Buttons and Galore. And uh, let me know what you think. If you are thinking of, of doing this, we have limited supply of these collections since they are older collections. So if you do want to do this, make sure you order earlier instead of later. And I hope you like it. So I will talk to you guys later.